Hey, Mark! Welcome back to Single Car Garage. What is going on? <laughs> You're coming in early with us this morning. There we go! We got some lights over here. Looks like I left some lights on last night. That's what it looks like. So... A nap I had today. That's the only one I could find. <laughs> Raised my door to get my stupid birds out. I got two sparrows that come in here almost every night. Next time I come in and they're in here, I'll uh, video them. <laughs> I'm going to swear I'm going to shoot them, but my daughter tells me I can't. All right, today I'm going to uh, assemble the uh, grill part and get it attached to the uh, radiator support uh, on this truck and actually take the other fender off. Uh, motor transmission coming Saturday. I'm planning on putting them in uh, next Monday, and then I will uh, put everything back on it. And... Uh, We'll uh, wire it, and I think we might be done. I don't know. He wants me to finish the bed. This uh, job's getting longer and longer and longer, and a little bit tougher, tougher, tougher. You know, that truck uh, behind me started out as a guy stopped by my shop one day and seen some of our work, and as most of you all know, I don't work for other people for the most part. I always enjoyed building cars and uh, selling them. And uh, so, uh, you know, I was kind of in between a whole bunch of cars and he wanted the cab of this and the fenders and the hood painted. And I was like, no problem, it wasn't on a frame. So I bought it over the shop and uh, started on the body work. And it's terrible. I mean, uh, both cab corners have been hit. Um, they were beat up. I got all them pulled out and fairly smoothed out. And uh, then uh, I had to put uh, rockers in it, and uh, which was a good experience for me. I mean, I <clears throat> surely did not charge him what a shop would charge him because it's the first time I'd ever put rockers in. But it turned out pretty good. I learned a lot. But it's actually, uh, you know, a pretty good job. I was pretty proud of it. And we had to do a whole bunch of interior work, and uh, then we painted it. Well, now he wanted wiring, now he wanted heat, now he wants an engine, and uh, that's not, I, you know, I wouldn't have tucked the job. I mean, uh, I love the guy, I love him to death, and, and that's why I'm doing this, because once I met him and got to know him, I can't tell him no. But uh, I did not want a job like this. We just finished that, pon or was finishing up on that Pontiac, and uh, <clears throat> we, uh, so... I want to get this thing done and out of here. I've had it a couple of years, actually, uh, sitting around. I want to get it done out of here, and uh, I'm not going to be doing any kind of work for anybody else. The 65 Impala is actually parked now. We're looking for a frame for it. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to find somebody to do it, but uh, everything's done on it. We just need to switch uh, frames on it. Uh, found out that both sides of that frame is rotten. And uh, I don't think it'd be fixed, but I'm not a frame person, and I'm left that up to the owner. I don't want to get involved in it. So, But anyway, hey, let's get going on this grill so we can get this done today. And uh, I'm going to prep this thing and get it ready for uh, the engine to drop in and make sure everything's tight. Uh, and the reason we're going to take the front end off of it, I, and most of it's loose. The fenders are tight but at, at the on the uh, firewall. It's going to be so much easier to drop this engine and uh, transmission in, and I'm laughing because it's also going to, I won't have to fix that dent. What dent did you ask? The dent where I hit the fender with the engine uh, always happens. So I'm pretty sure there'll be a dent in the firewall, and I'll fix that, but at least that's only one dent. But hey, let's get to this friggin' uh, grill thing and uh, get that done. That won't take a long time. And I'm still laughing about knocking uh, the crap out of the fender, but uh, you all don't know this, and my daughter don't know this, so I'll tell you all, but don't tell her. <laughs> There's a dent in her Pontiac, and I did it the other day. 
So that's what I do. I dent good looking cars. So anyway, let's go do this thing. There's my bird. There's my bird over there playing my toys. This is why I find shit thrown all over the floor in the mornings. I need to be working and I'm chasing damn birds. They're actually not that scared of me. I can get within two or three feet of them. All right, we've got the grill out. We got the, uh, there's a grill. And we got the uh, radiator support out. <clears throat> so, got to take this out. Here's our parts. Go in here and here. And then there's a spring in here. There's your spring, which will fasten into there. And that'll get your bucket in. So, let's get that done. These just snap in. Got both of them in there. Then your spring, see that flat end? It goes in there just like that. A little harder than I thought. Might have to get a screwdriver to get that in there. I kind of figure if you, there we go. And it's got a little, if you'll see, a little raised area where that spring, there it goes. It's in spot. Now, this comes over here like this. There's where it lines up. We are ready to go. So let's put uh, these bolts in. All right, here's the rings. Now, uh, put your anchors in, put your screws in, and then this fits in these grooves. Snaps right in there. If you'll see, there's a groove right here. It goes right in there. And perfect. I'm sure all of y'all have done this a million times. So here's our light. <clears throat> One of them fancy lights, man. Fancy, fancy. So. I guess this has the turn signal in it or it's got a ring around it this should be fine all right fits in there like that and then you get your ring Out. And this is a uh, now your spring fits in right here. So you put it on there, your ring pops just like a regular. Uh, There we go. And I've got the screws to screw it down, so let's get to it and screw it down. Well, I take it these uh, holes for this uh, trim ring are not punched well, so I went and got the ratchet.
made it kind of hard trying to do it by hand. So, I got this ratchet out. And there we are. One more to put in. Well, it's a beautiful day to work outside in Tennessee today. Well, it makes it so much easier. Let's go ahead and uh, put these. Whoa. There we go. We're installed. So let's go over this one more time. So we got new anchors. They went in like that. <clears throat> Two of them. Spring goes here. There's your spring. There's your anchors. The next thing, this goes on. Have you noticed? You put your adjusting screws. These are your adjusting screws. They have a uh, channel for that to ride in. So you put both of them in there. Put your bulb in. Put your trim ring on. Attach your spring. And voila. And screw these down. Your trim ring. And there you are. A headlight in a 68 radiator support. Let's do the other one real quick. I can't this this ring <clears throat> I can get two down and one's up so I've been looking at it I thought maybe the ring was bent but it's not so if you take this out be careful of those million dollar lights and put this on it fits down great see on all of them if you can see, this is supposed to fit down into that right there. And it's not doing it. See where it is? It's just barely. So what I'm going to do, these are fitting in well. See how these fit in? Uh, the other light fit in great. I'm going to modify this housing. Nothing like modifying a $100 friggin' light, but I'm going to have to grind off a little bit of that to make it fit in there. So right here. I'm going to grind a little bit of this plastic off. All right, shave that little place off. Everything's going to fit good. Right there is the work we did. Had to shave off, I don't know eighth of an inch but it fits down there great now so uh, let's get her buttoned up okay and that's what the grill looks like assembled job done well I tell you the fit and finish though and I mean I've come to understand that but the fit and finish in these parts from china are just uh you know they're not terrible they're not great you're just i hate modifying new parts i hate cutting on new parts um you know you, you occasionally mess up something so that's what you have to do but i mean everything was decent so uh now what we're going to do, uh, what we're going to do, the engine's coming in uh, Saturday. So uh, Monday, we're going to put the engine transmission together, all the accessories, uh, throw it in the truck. Then we'll put the fenders and the grill back on. 
and uh, we will wire up the engine and complete uh, wire the instruments and uh, have it started. So uh, hopefully by Monday afternoon, motor and transmission will be sitting in the truck and bolted down if all the parts are here. So then um, by Friday, we should be wrapping up wiring and all that good stuff. So uh, that's what we're working on right now in the truck. Uh, this is what we've done this morning. So, hey, I'm getting ready to go do a couple other things. Come back and see me. Hope you had fun. Enjoy yourself. Talk to you later. Hey, after I got done with all that uh, front end stuff, lights and all that crap, uh, I went in, I wasn't super happy with uh, what this truck looked like paint-wise, so I actually went back into the shop, uh, gave it a scuff, and uh, put a, a another misting of clear on it to try to make it look a little bit more uh, better. I just didn't like the other one. Uh, so anyway, that's what I did. Take a look. Might be a little hard to hear, but putting the finishing touches on the paint job uh, looks like it uh, looks a lot better this time. I, I didn't like it last time, and that's why I wanted to do this. We'll have to see if this baby dries what we think. Hey, thanks for watching today. I uh, hope you had a good time. Hope you learned something, uh, and I hope you come back. See you later.